My family's been cleaning out the entire garage, the entire house, and they found them. They've just been pushed away somewhere in the garage. I wonder if maybe some of what we've experienced in the past year might have been involving her. Of course we had to do what we're about to do in a haunted hotel. You're gonna put on the headphones and I'm gonna ask- The cap balls on. No, the cap balls on. Can you turn that pink flash plate on? When I get to, give me chills. I feel like that was a diversion though, yeah. and that was not You know that you've been in Mackie's house? Well, it's in that box for years. Do you know me from my house? Yeah. I'm protecting your entire family. That is the clearest thing I have ever heard come through on the cereal box. Definitely haunted and there's definitely more that she'll have to share with us. I think we should switch. It's okay. Blue's really your color. Well, green isn't yours. <laughs> Hey, what's up, you guys? <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Hey, hey. hi, how you doing? My name's Amanda. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Mackie and Amanda. I'm Mackie. Hi, Mackie. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> we're the spooky booze. I'm gonna go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Just it's my line. Please do. I don't really know oh. what to say other than. We'll just get into a little backstory of these. Mm, that's a great idea. So, this doll was actually when we did the unboxing a haunted mystery box last Spooktober. She came in that mystery box and we never really did anything else with her. No, we completely forgot about her. Then this one, someone actually sent to me like over a year ago and they've just been pushed away somewhere in the garage. We completely forgot about them until my family's been cleaning out the entire garage, the entire house, and they found them and they're like, what do you want to do with these? Should we throw them away? And we just didn't think that was right. Well, I was about to throw them away and I walked in the bedroom and showed Amanda and I was just like laughing like, huh? And then Amanda's face was like, I'm like, what? And I'm like, do you think there's something with them? Let's just say this one, there's a reason I'm holding it. Yeah. And I gave you that one. You said you this one has good vibes and this one, just kind of, well, I don't want to say too much. I have some thoughts about her. Some, uh, I'm not even kidding. The whole time I've been holding her, I've had a headache. No. They <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that one's just like, help. <laughs> well, I have some specific thoughts on that one in particular. So we kind of had an idea of maybe I do a medium session, kind of sit down alone with her and see what I can pick up, write it all down with you guys and so you can see what I'm thinking and what I pick up. Then you, however, spirit box session, yeah. flashlights, whatever devices work, do a session to... I think that'd be really cool and see if things match up. Yeah. So I, I just don't even know, but... I don't like how you're holding her. I know. <laughs> it's like those dads that hold their babies. I think we should also, you and I, set up some like general questions. Have you been in this garage the past year and like we didn't know it? Like things like that, you know? And then we see what we can get. Like I think that's gonna make it. Okay. To be continued. As you can probably tell, it is nighttime now. And we are at a hotel. Of course we had to do what we're about to do in a haunted hotel, and especially not in either of our homes. She's just been living in your garage. Uh-huh, both of them have been. But I wonder if maybe some of what we've experienced in the past year might have been involving her, and we didn't even know it. Oh, do you like have any idea? I have what? some idea. You do? Okay, so as you can see, we haven't talked about it yeah. at all. You and I are going to sit here, do a little medium session, see what we can pick up about them, and then you're gonna come back in and we're gonna do an Estes Method session, where you're gonna put on the headphones and I'm gonna ask- The cap balls on. No, the cap balls on. To her, on hers? Yes, on hers. I can't do this. She's Scoot terrifying. this way just in case. She terrifies me. Oh my god. We're gonna do an Estes Method session to see 
if the answers that I get line up with what they say through the spirit box and it's completely that's what I'm looking for. You can't hear unbiased. Unbiased, that's exactly the word. It's completely unbiased because you can't hear the question yeah. that I'm asking. Alright. And you won't know what I asked and no. got from them in the beginning, so it's kind of like yeah, this is gonna be crazy, I feel like. Alright, I guess I'm gonna leave you to it. Well, now I'm nervous that the couple's going on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Because I have no idea what you even feel about her regardless, with or without the medium session. <sighs> okay, look how much, like, I'm moving the... I know, I know. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, hers went off. Alright, that was me. I just okay. wanna make sure that you can see her. Alright. I was just scrolling for um, a page, a blank page uh -huh. to start on, and I found one that was blank, or so I thought, and yeah. there was just one little letter written on it, and it's the letter that I think her name starts with. Are you serious? How weird is that? This is like my notebook from like four years ago. So that there's, I wonder if I can find it again. It's literally the only letter on the page. What's after this? I want to find it, wait. I can see some of these are literally tattoo ideas. Yeah. Your tattoo ideas. Here it is. What? What the fuck? That's really weird. I kind of wish I hadn't shown you because now you know the letter. Well, I guess oh. now the only thing you know is the letter. Huh? Oh, like, busted. Oh and that's like pencil too. Yeah. And everything else in here is pen. You don't even have a pencil in your house. No, I know. So every time Amanda comes out. over, she's like, can I use a pencil? I'm going to start on the page with the letter. Okay, in. scoot that way a tad bit. Okay, hey, a scoot, tad. Scoot this way. A tad. All right, you're on your own. Can <laughs> you please stop? I can't do this. I literally cannot do this. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to start out this session like I do every other session, but because Mackie's not here, I'm going to say it out loud. I'd like to reach out to the spirits out of this hotel. I'd like to reach out specifically to the spirits of these two dolls here. I only want positive interaction. You're not allowed to harm me or Mackie in any way. You're not allowed to physically touch us. If you are open to starting a line of communication with me and talking to me tonight, could you set off one of these devices? We have that pink flashlight. I feel like the lights are flickering. We have that pink flashlight right there that you can go up and tap and you can turn it on. And we also have these two cat balls. There's one in front of each of them. So feel free to make yourself known if you are attached to either one of these dolls specifically. I know that in the very beginning we started and you set off the cat ball on my left side with this doll here. And that is the doll that I was definitely picking up to the most. Could you make yourself known turning on the flashlight or turning on that cat ball? And then I can start asking some questions. Okay, either I'm crazy or that line just don't like a time. Okay. Is your name Katie? The doll on the left with the brown hair. The fact that it's going off on that side. Okay. Okay. Katie. Katie, are you a good spirit? I'm on the fourth floor. 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 Katie, if you are a good spirit, this is the last time I'm going to ask. Could you set off any of those devices? Give you about five more seconds. And then I'll ask the opposite. If 
you're a bad spirit, Katie. And you have bad intentions. Can you set off the cat ball at your doll's feet? Or turn on that light in the corner on your side? Either the pink one or the lamp. I'm gonna check the flashlight. Maki? Katie, can you turn this pink flashlight off? I feel like she doesn't want to use our devices. Okay. Well, well. Thank you, Katie. If you're willing to answer my questions using that pink flashlight, can you turn it back on? That light is flickering. Katie, can you turn on our flashlight that we brought? Is there a reason you don't want to use our flashlight? Katie, are you attached to this doll here? I feel like I hear girls talking. It could be the guests in the hotel. Okay, this is gonna sound even crazier. In the reflection of the mirror, I swear I can see somebody on the bed with me. I'm getting, I, I would love to ask your age that you're presenting to be. Can you turn that pink flush right on? When I get to, they give me chills. When I get to the age that you are, I'm gonna say them in order. I'm gonna count, can you? I'm just gonna go for it. You know what I'm asking, and I know you know what I'm asking. Five. Katie, now I want to know about your siblings. Katie, can you turn that flashlight off if you had eight siblings? Or if you were one of eight, you had seven siblings. Katie, if I have that number wrong, can you turn that flashlight off? Katie, does the number eight mean something else to you? Could you turn that flashlight on if it does? I don't even know if I want to ask if there's anything on this other doll because I really don't feel like there is anything. And I feel like when, I wonder if I should just stick with Katie. Are you open to using another line of communication? Something called a spirit box to talk? Could you turn, mess, could you mess with one of those lights or make yourself known if you are open to using another line of communication? Alright. I'm going to get Mackie. Do you know who Mackie is? She was here earlier. Can you turn that flashlight off if you remember Mackie? And if you want me to bring her in. Maybe that was my phone. Okay, that sounded like somebody just dropped a bottle in this room. That sounded like somebody dropped a bottle in this room. Okay, the flashlight was off. Right That's what I asked her. Okay. There's like two things on here. I shouldn't ask, You're just right? gonna, um, I don't even think you can ask without me like okay. exploiting. <laughs> Alright. But like I got a name, I got her age. Really? Yeah. <sighs> this is, sorry. This is on you. <laughs> We are moving on the bed and how much the cat falls oh are not going on. God. You're right. The flashlight just turned on. Great. Thanks. Okay. Oh, 
I'm nervous. Um, I'm letting you know. I really don't think there is anything with that one. Oh, this, okay. this, this, something comes through for that one and I'm wrong, like, throw her out. Throw her out. Oh, it just turned on. It literally just turned on. Are you on. serious? Yeah, and it went on for like two seconds, I swear. It was on, it only oh, went like oh twice. Oh my god. That's weird. That's I feel like that was a diver like a diversion, a diversion though. Really? And that was kind of said a name and that was Why is it so loud? I don't know. And that was not. Is that water? What the f? Is that water? Yes! That was like water sloshing. Someone's in here with us. Really? Multiple people. Like, yeah, m multiple people. There are four people here right now, four different spirits. Can you turn that flashlight off? Any one of you. If there are four of you here. All you have to do is tap it. Just like one of you has to admit it. Four spirits, just let us know. <gasps> Somebody just dimmed. Okay. There, it's off. Or do they feel bad? Um, we'll be good. <laughs> okay, I'm trying the spirit box. Hello. Friends. Let's put those on. That is so loud. Help me. Alright, Katie. Is that you that we're talking to? Is that you who said friend? So Something yourself. Katie. Hello to. Hello to you. Is there any way that you can confirm that this is Katie? Can you tell us your age? Can I you... was. Can whoever is coming through the spirit box, can you speak in English, please? Interesting. Huh. No. No. I wonder if that is one of the four. If this is the man speaking right now, is it? You need to you need to be quiet for a few minutes, please. He already said no. He he did not like that I told him to be quiet. Four. Four. Look right here. No, look right here. There are four people here right now. You need to wait. And I want to talk to Katie. Katie, turn off that flashlight. All of a sudden, this is super crazy. I've never said this. I feel like I have such like. There are voices. I don't want this to come across bad way. Like such control right Mackie. now. Mackie. I know. 12. Multiple people that are different here. 11 to 13, 12 right in the middle. I have goosebumps. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Um, don't call me that. Not nice. Katie, you need to come through right now and I want you to speak. Do you understand that? I am losing. To the man, you need to take a step back. In fact, you need to leave altogether. Great news, you're... You need to leave all together. We don't want to hear what you have to say. We Be asked, with us. We asked you nicely. I did. We did. We asked you nicely. Katie, are you good to open a line of communication? Can you step forward? I feel like this man is stepping back for sure. This man is yeah. left. Katie, you're ready? That was you saying yes. I know it was. Katie, can you turn on that pink flashlight? Something the light. <laughs> Guess that pink flashlight. That's up. And that lamp that's above the flashlight. Touch the light. Is that what you're talking about? Can you touch that light? This is the most amazing spirit box session we've ever done. Katie, I'm just going to move on because I know I'm speaking to you if that's okay. Do you know that you've been hanging out in Mackie's house for the last year? No. Do you know where you've been for the last year? Julie's? Julie's. Do you know where you are now? Out. Out. Have you not been out in a while? Have you been stuck in the same place? No, she hasn't. She's been able to leave. Is that true, Katie? You've been able to leave? Katie, can you 
Can you go places freely? No. Come find me at home. Katie, where have you been for the last year? Dumb. Break. Dim. Can you dim that light? Save them. Turn that flashlight on. All right, everyone needs to take a step back and Katie, you need to step forward again. I know it's taking a lot of energy. We have a light on top of- I our like Mackie. We have a light on top of our camera here you can take energy from. Do you know that- Four. Four. I have that number so dark. You know that you've been in Mackie's house? Well, it's in that box for years. Do you remember the mystery box that- were you in a box? It wasn't the mystery box, was it? Where did you come from, Katie? How did you end up in this vessel? Is a do you by by box? Do you mean vessel? This doll in the up in the office. Office. Okay. Up in the office was not Katie. These two people are not Katie. Katie, how long? How long have you been around? What year were you born? Every. 80. Katie, how did you pass away? Family. Katie, were you murdered? Old. How would you know? Because I saw it, Katie. You need to fly? It's like something like you need to fly out or something. <laughs> so loud. I wish you could hear me right now. It yeah. Okay, you know, she's yelling. Okay. Katie, I'm so sorry that you were murdered. Were you murdered by someone in your family? That's besides the point. I just want to confirm, Katie, it's for my own daughter. Yeah, that one. It was your uncle. Let her out. Uncle or brother. You're not allowed to... You're not allowed Walk to, away. You're not allowed to get out. You're not allowed to come with us. We just want to talk. Fine. No. I'm sorry, we're setting boundaries. Loser. It's only fair of you to fire it. Hi. You're just yelling so loud. Am I? So loud. Am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so honestly, I'm like trying to just go like this. It's going super, it's going super, super well. Really? Like, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. No way. Oh, sorry. No, just being kidding. Like, it's all so messy. Um, yeah, every answer is like going great. It's just the only thing is you're yelling super loud and I don't want anyone to get mad at okay, us. Okay, I'll try to be more quiet. <laughs> and it was hard too, because they're yelling. Yeah, yeah like, like they're so here. loud. I just did. I heard that too. Mail. Shut up. Do you want to ask some questions? Sure. Let's see what you get. I'll restart this. Okay. And we got her age, like when she died, um, she was murdered. <gasps> Are you kidding she's, me? She's like talking about being stuck in this vessel that she's been in a box for years. No. That she can't way. travel freely. What? Yeah, all stuff like that. That's wild. It's Miranda. actually, you're actually, a, was I actually yelling? Yeah, you're yelling. You're gonna die when you it's, because, it's because you literally cannot even hear yourself talk. Like, I could barely hear myself, and apparently I was yelling. Halfway through, I was like, "You need to stop yelling." <laughs> I, like, I like, really I did not. So, hear. I looked at you and whispered, and I was like, "You can't." I know, like it. it's so loud, Amanda. All right, you ready? Oh, a lot of Spanish. I still don't even know this girl's name. I heard "meet ya." Maybe like it was like a nice to meet ya. Nice to meet you. My name's Mackie. Okay, my name is Mackie. For me, you have. I have what? Do you know me? 
Yes. How do you know me? I was there. Where were you? Where? Where were you that you know me? Where do you know me from? Uh, it was a full sentence. And I, <laughs> I couldn't make it out. Do you know me from my house? Yeah. Okay. You can leave. Are you telling me to leave? Or are you saying that I'm able to leave my house when I want? Leave. You, you can. You can. Yeah, I can come Est and go. Estamos. I can come and go. Ouch. Am I speaking with the doll? You can have this. Help. Here. Okay, I'll take that as a yes. What is your name to the doll right over here? Can you say your name, please? There's so much coming through and it's hard to understand. Can you confirm for me how you passed away once again? You know this. I do. Amanda did tell me how you passed away, so is that you confirming that to me? Yeah, ass. <laughs> and then it just went silent, like no one's saying anything. Are you calling me an ass? Get out. Why? Why do you want me to get out? Where are you? Need. What do you need? Calm down, you have us. And there's like two separate people talking. We're, we're going something and then we're done. I'm protecting your entire family. That came through clear as day. I'm protecting your entire family in a man's voice. That is the clearest thing I have ever heard come through on the cereal box. I am protecting your entire family. I am protecting your entire family clear as day. How did you feel about it? Um, Do you feel like it's true or something else? I have no idea. It gave me like full what chills. Like talking about my family? Yeah, like I don't believe it for a second. I don't believe it for a second. Creepy. It's just like so weird. That's creepy. That was the clearest thing, full sentence I've ever heard come through on this. I am protecting your entire family. Do you think it was the doll or something else? Something else. There's something else coming through. Really? It's not. Not good. It's not the thing I'm talking. It's not the girl I was talking okay. to. Hi. Yeah, I heard that too. So it will basically knows me the same how I'm able to come and go and leave the house as I please. Uh -huh. And it confirmed the way it died to me. I said, is it, can you tell me one more time how you passed away? And it said, I already told you. And I was like, so that's you confirming uh, that what Amanda told me is true. Accurate, yeah, true and accurate. So yes. By the end, like before you said that, somebody was like, get out, leave. Like, it started to change and get weird. Yeah. They called, like, it said ass. I, I heard it say ass. That's weird. I, w I definitely feels like something that I was not talking to before. It feels like something actually that I kicked out during my session. Really? Uh huh. And it feels like it's back now that, like, I'm under. And. What the f so should that I, case, should we. Should I, kick it, should I kick it out and we can start again with her? Or should we just. Wait and maybe end it there. I think if something else is here, maybe we go into the investigation of this hotel. All right, let's I do it. I feel like she got across, which she, well, like what's your overall consensus about this doll? Like, how do you feel about She's it? She's definitely haunted and there's definitely more that she'll have to share with us. Maybe we need to meet up with Sheena and try to get to the bottom of That's what's great really idea. going on with this doll. That's a great idea. Yeah.
Because Wait, that. do you ever get her name? This girl? Yeah. Oh yeah. What is it? Katie. Katie. Katie, did you get her name? No. Come back for part two, or we're gonna have to hit up Sheena and figure this out. If but... you guys have any questions that you think we should ask, or that we... I don't know if you have any questions, or any suggestions, advice, help, questions, yeah. concerns, thoughts, comments, prayers. Please help. Put them <laughs> in the comments below. <laughs> but now clearly someone else is here that wants to talk, so I think we should investigate this hotel. Well... Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And other than that, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.